The question is wireless system versus wired system. What is better? This is the best of both worlds. <laughs>
you still need power. So like, if you were like, okay, you know, I want to put my wireless camera in my detached, um, my detached garage. Let's say you have a garage at your house, but it's not attached to your house. It's detached, it's way in the back. And you want to put a wireless camera there. That is where you would use a wireless camera. You wouldn't run a wire, you know, from your garage, you know, across the yard into your house. You would use a wireless camera. However, you would still need to have power in that garage to power the camera. Keep that in mind. So, stay tuned. Let's see how I put these cameras up. Howdy. All right, what's up, YouTube? Dang, that's cool. I was literally gonna do something. I, actually, you know what? I got the system plugged in. I don't know what this antenna looking thing is. I don't, you know, I don't read manuals, guys. But as you can see, I got two cameras up already. Real simple, guys, real simple. All right, so these cameras are not that bad. These, I mean, not bad at all. These cameras are actually really good quality. Um, I got one here. I only have two up there, but I wanted to show you these cameras are heavy, pretty heavy duty. I'm gonna plug this camera in, literally just plug it in and look at the screen. Um, oh, there we go. All right, took a few seconds to kind of turn on. Hello, there I am. But these cameras are pretty clear. You can see my face there. These cameras are pretty clear. They have night vision on here. I not, I'm not sure if they have sound. I don't think they have sound, I really doubt it. But I mean, you just plug them in and they work, guys. As you can see, I have two up now. Um, I don't wanna put all my cameras up for privacy issues, but as you can see, I'm now gonna have seven cameras at my house. So let's do a quick review. You know, let's compare the two, two systems. Now, do note, there are systems that don't require you to plug a power cord in. Now, if this is your first time getting a wireless camera or getting a camera system, I actually highly recommend you get a camera system that has a battery pack. Cause that way, all you gotta do is drill the camera in wherever is that outside and just put the battery in there. The only downside about a battery is some people who I do, who I know who do have battery packs, oh, I only gotta change it, you know, once or twice a year. Some people I talk to, man, I gotta change that damn battery in the camera every three months. And I got four cameras and I gotta buy two battery packs and I gotta make sure I change the batteries. You know what? Now, the reason I got a wired system, guys, is for this reason, as you can see, we got a lot of wires in my closet and check this bad boy out. Goes all the way to the attic. But the reason I got a wired system, as you can see is, there is constant power to my cameras. There's a constant signal. You know, the point of cameras is to catch something when you don't know something's gonna happen. Whether it's you have someone coming to cause harm to your family, or whether you have, you know, some, you know, someone's taking something. If you have to change the batteries to your camera and it's a hassle, I, I literally spoke with a friend that said, hey, Wesley, check out my cameras. I got two up. The one over here by my garage isn't working because I got to change the battery. Oh, I said, when did, when did you, um, when you, uh, how long has the battery been dead? Oh, it's been dead about a week or so. I just haven't had a chance to get change the battery. Well, guess what, guys? Criminals don't, <laughs> you know, rob you or cause you harm at your convenient time. So... The reason I did all these wires and did all this stuff is because I was like, I want to have a constant, constant supply to my cameras that are right here. I wanted to have constant power to my cameras and that's why I did what I did. Now, I'll say back to this system, you know, I thought it was actually a huge negative and I was actually gonna give this system a really bad review because they don't have the battery packs and how the ease of installing would have been. But I actually give this system a very high review or even systems like this. And you know, they're linked below guys, if you're interested in picking up this system. Um, I do give this a high review only because back to what I said about the power, you know, I'm running a power cord to this camera. So it's like the best of both worlds. You got the wireless signal, so you don't have to worry about, you know, any wires. You don't have to worry about running, you know, anything too crazy. Like I have wires running from, all over my attic, all over the house, going down to that one bedroom and into my house. With this, 
all you gotta do is worry about one wire that goes to a power outlet that's right near the camera. So you get the best of both worlds. So I'm actually really happy that I have this system. So now I can you know, tell you guys that when it comes to wireless systems, you get the best of both worlds if your wireless system plugs into a power outlet. Okay, lastly guys, when it comes to functionality, it's literally exactly the same. It's very clear. You know, you can set your own scenes. You can, you know, set whatever you want to do in the camera. You can set your zones. You get notifications to your phone. It's literally the same exact thing as, you know, a, a regular camera system. So, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you know, please subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to keep posting videos like this and educational products. And, you know, I figured this might be something to do. You know, I get questions asked all the time about wireless versus wired. So I said, why not give me a wireless system and then give you guys a comparison? So there you go. If you have any questions, there you go. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what you got. You know, tell me if I didn't answer everything and this wasn't thorough enough. I, I just want to be like quick and to the point. So I wasn't going to do a deep dive. You know how my last Lorex system was like a four video series that took like three months to up upload. I'm done. This series is done. This is one video. This is one, one thing all in one. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll do an update video if need be, but I think it's pretty straightforward. The question is wireless system versus wired system. What is better? This is the best of both worlds. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.